Tonight at 5.30, San Mateo County is forming its first domestic violence task force after five women were allegedly killed this year by their partners or former partners in that county. Our Crown Force Rob Nesbitt joins us now live in the studio with more on the task force and what family members of victims have to say. Rob? San Mateo County is seeing an increase of domestic violence cases and homicides. This task force will work to figure out why and try to prevent future acts of violence. San Mateo County Supervisor Noelia Corzo has become very familiar with the names of the women who have lost their lives to domestic violence this year. Frances Lucero, Maria Romero Molina, Claribel Estrella, Yesenia Lopez Hernandez, and Grace Marie Kelly. An online fundraiser has been set up to help the family of Yesenia Lopez Hernandez, as well as Francis Lucero, putting faces to the names of the two victims. I also had a chance to speak with Elizabeth Kuros, whose aunt Grace Marie Kelly was killed just three weeks ago. We're struggling and we're grieving. Um, it's just, it was a shock, complete shock on how it happened and the way she was murdered. According to the San Mateo County DA's office, Kelly was shot to death by her boyfriend inside their daily city home. Supervisor Corzo wants to stop the growing homicide list by forming the county's first domestic violence task force, made up of nine members working to remove the barriers that prevent victims from getting help. Something as simple as better signage in our county center so that folks going to, to get help don't feel you know, confused and powerless because they can't even find the right place to go. Cora is the only organization based in San Mateo County that provides help to victims of domestic violence. Charles Cavallino from Cora says one in four women fall victim and one in seven men experience domestic violence, but those are just the reported cases. The issue of underreporting, especially for male survivors or those who, do it, who identify as uh, non-binary, et cetera, uh, just to do additional stigma around that. The new domestic violence task force will be made up of more than just those who work in domestic violence research and outreach, but also those who have been impacted and who have real lived experiences. People can be aware of what to do when these type of situations happen and how to identify a victim. Because sometimes the victims don't even know they're victims or they're in fear that their perpetrator or their abuser is going to hurt them if they tell the truth. Supervisor Corzo says the majority of victims killed this year because of domestic violence were Latina women. She says 25% of the population in San Mateo County is Latinx, and she wants to make sure the task force is reaching out to all communities of all languages. Reporting in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News.